South Dakota has seen more than 8,000 coronavirus cases since the pandemic began, with more than 7,000 recovered patients. On tonight's Health Beat, Kelloland Sophie Heinemann is talking with a local infectious disease expert about whether those who have recovered are at risk for getting the virus again. The U.S. has surpassed the 4 million mark in coronavirus cases. As the numbers climb, those who have recovered from the virus may be asking one question. Can you get COVID-19 uh, twice? The evidence, we don't have any evidence that that is definitely occurring. Um, could it occur? Yes. It's a simple um, question with and, a complex so answer. We, Infectious disease physician Dr. Wendell Hoffman says most COVID-19 patients will develop elevated antibodies or proteins that fight infections. But recent studies have found those antibody levels drop after two to three months. The question is, what does that mean? Does that mean that they lose their immunity? Not necessarily. Hoffman draws comparisons to whooping cough, where antibody levels also decrease over time, which is why the Tdap vaccine is given to people throughout their life. He says initial COVID-19 vaccine studies are showing promising results in terms of generating antibodies, which is similar to what vaccines like Tdap provide. Well, what we have seen are people who have had COVID-19 who get better and then who come back in for another reason, and then when they're retested, they're, they're still positive. He says some nasal swab tests continue to be positive for weeks to sometimes even months, though evidence suggests the virus stops shedding around day 9 or 10. That doesn't mean that they have active COVID disease. It means that it may just be uh, particles of the virus, what some people have called remnant RNA, that still are present and are being picked up by these very powerful PCR tests. He says the bottom line is even if you've already recovered from COVID-19, all precautions should still be taken. So my recommendation would be uh, nothing changes. If you've had COVID-19 in the past, um, because of the uncertainties, I think you need to continue to do all the mitigating strategies that we've talked about for months now. With HealthBeat, I'm Sophie Heineman. To see the most up-to-date COVID-19 case count in Kelloland, go to our coronavirus tab on kelloland.com.